and it is 5.30, so I will call the public meeting or public works meeting to order. Uh, we'll do it start with roll call. Alderperson Salazar. Here. Alderperson Ross. Present. Alderperson Ramey. Here. Alderperson Heidemann. Here. And Alderperson Decker is here, so we are all here. Let's start out with the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands. Under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Well, we guess you want to maybe do a quick introductions then for now. Uh, I'm Dean Decker, uh, chair of the committee, and uh, all the person from District Six. Uh, Joe Heidemann, District Ten. I'm Angela Ramey, District Five. Zach Ross, District Eight, and Vice Chair. Anna Salazar, District Three. Liz Majerus, Assistant City Attorney. Oh, I'm Kendra Kelly. I'm director at Maywood Park. Uh, Tim Bull with DPW. I'm City Forester. Joe Curlin, DPW. Joe Colson, DPW. Mike Holmes, DPW. Brian Sizema, DPW. CC, DPW. Heather Burke, DPW. Uh, David Peeble, uh, Department of Public Works. <laughs> we'll go into uh, number five, approval of minutes from August 15th, 2023. I move to approve. Second. Motion made and seconded. Any discussion on those minutes? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Chair will sign. Those are approved. Okay, number six, general ordinance number 17, 2324, August 21st, 2023, an ordinance creating a no parking zone at the ter terminus of South Pier Drive at the cul de sac to prevent parking between 11 p.m. and 4 a.m. Right. Yeah, I can take okay. Yeah, uh, as we all know, the South Pier cul-de-sac has been closed for, for several years. Mm -hmm. It opened up a couple months ago, and since then, our office has received a lot of phone calls from the businesses and the residents down there that um, there's just a lot, a lot of late night activity. So from talking over with staff, we decided just to post that cul-de-sac very soon. We do our parks, no parking from 11 p.m. to 4 a.m. Um, I know I know there's a lot of activity, a lot of times people fishing, but if someone wants to get down before 4 a.m., there's plenty of parking along the... Uh, uh south side of, of the road there that's where that's where that's where all this came from and if we're going to do it now is the time to do it it's opened up and yeah. please please start i guess i would, we would imagine it's somewhat driven driving this too or? i did i did mention it to chris okay, okay. Yes. Yeah. any discussions on it well go ahead Ed. thank you um is that the same hours that all parks are yeah, 11 to 4. exactly okay. in fact david came up with that and he said that'd be just, that way it's nice and consistent there are there are a few parks where it's 10 o'clock where we, there's been mm -hmm. some some activity that we've been trying to discourage but for the most part it's been pretty standard 11 to 4. Cool. has it been like a lot of like, like cars cars, cars just a lot, just, yeah, yeah. Yeah. In a necking spot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but usually when, you get, usually when you get multiple phone calls like that, it's so the calls are about the the, the cars or the calls are about the noise because the noise. there's just cars the, there like the noise, the, the noise, right? the noise, the noise, the noise. Yeah, and really posting it from eleven to four, it's, it's I, don't, I don't see that being. But for issue. those who are fishing off that pier, right, they would have to park farther down. You like can park we... right right outside the cul-de-sac. There's plenty of parking right there. Yeah. Only right there. I mean, right. I don't go fishing, but right. you carry a lot of stuff, right? Right. To go down to the pier. But I'm also thinking if someone goes down at three thirty, quarter four, they're probably gonna be okay if they want to go fishing. And would they be able to pull in, unload, and then go park yeah. and go right. back? Yeah. Okay. okay. Yes. Cool. Yeah. I know it's your area, so yeah. I, I'm just thinking about all the yeah. calls I'm gonna get. Those guys go out there fishing pretty early. Mm -hmm. They start at like three thirty. You know, right. they're starting to right. unload. They want to get out there at four. It's just gonna be some noise to for those who want to do it off the pier. That's okay. All. okay. Uh, anything else? I'm looking for a motion. I move to approve. I'll second. Motion made and seconded. Any other discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Chair votes aye. It is approved. Okay. Number seven. Resolution number 48, 2324, August 21st. First, 2023 resolution authorized or designating the city forester as the city's authorized representative for the purpose of Wisconsin Department of Natural Resources, Wisconsin DNR Urban Forestry Grants for calendar year 2024 and directing him to a submitted urban, re, urban forestry grant application. I guess this would be Tim. Yes. Okay. Yeah, this is a. Uh... 
annual thing. We have to get a resolution in order to be eligible to apply. Mm -hmm. And the DNR has quite a bit of funds this year. So I'm optimistic that we'll be able to get the 25,000, we'll see. Um, I have several ideas in mind, but one thing they're stressing is ash trees, like treatment and removal because of the emerald ash pores. So more than likely I'll be targeting removal of some ash trees, like from areas that are more unmaintained, but they're still posing a hazard to roadways or nearby properties. And some of that stuff will be easier to hire out because our equipment is better for like on the road. It's a, you know, not really off road. Typically we're not working off the road. So some of these areas, they are off the road. So if we get some funds to hire some contractors to do that work for us. It'll be more efficient and it'll make those trees, those areas much more safer. I just want to say, I appreciate Tim's you know, involvement with this, that he, he's getting this money, bringing this in. I think this is a great positive to help, uh, help uh, with the with with the ash borer problem and help re, re, re bring in some of these trees. So, so the, uh, the amount is twenty five thousand. Is it the max that we can get? They'll they'll give us twenty five thousand as long as we spend twenty five thousand. Okay. So it's it's so a it's max. Matched. So it's so it's kind of like a fifty thousand dollar, you know, like a project. Okay. It can be more than that, but they'll only supply us with twenty five thousand. Did we do that last year? We did it two years ago, and that one actually had to get extended because we didn't hit the deadline because of the, the we had that big storm last summer, so mm -hmm. it delayed us finishing that one. So we didn't apply last year because we were still in the middle of the one we were working on prior. So, uh, yeah, so we, we were working on one okay. last year that we did finish complete now. All right, thanks. Any other questions? Looking for a motion. I move to approve the resolution. Second. Oh. That's right. Motion made and seconded. Any other discussion? All in favor? Aye. aye. Any opposed? Fair votes aye. That is approved. Okay. Number eight. Resolution number 43 August 21st, 2023. Resolution authorizing the appropriate city <clears throat> officials to execute a lease agreement between the city of Sheboygan, the Elwood H. May Environmental Park Association of Sheboygan County Incorporated and the Sheboygan Area School District. So let me go right to. I could, I could start with it. Oh, start with Joe. Okay. Just a. Um, so we've been doing this, working with Warner Schools for uh, for Maywood for since about 2017. So about our, our seventh year of doing it. Um, just some very minor changes that are happening. Um, the the fee went up from. $131,139 a month to uh, $1,166.66 uh, a month. So it went up $27.55. Um, so there was a little increase since from past years, um, approximately um, $10,500 uh, for nine months. So um, the, the other than that, really just some date changes and people that would be signing the document. But, um, Kendra worked with the attorney's office to line these up. So if you do have any questions, it's basically the same thing for the last seven, six, seven years. I think it's pretty standard point. Joe. Thank you, Chair. It's a phenomenal program. That's all I know. It's, a, it's very, very worthwhile. Uh, the only question I have, who determines the, the amount that they get paid? Is that set by, what's the standard? Uh, are, we getting, are we getting the right amount? Yep, so the executive committee at Maywood d determines that. Okay. Um, you know, it's like, a, again, it started seven years ago, and, and each year we do look at that. Um, we, uh, I, I, again, I think this was right before Kendra came in. Um, they were looking at, they did some negotiation with them also, you know, to see how much they kind of go up, and, and this was kind of the no, negotiated up um, increase for the okay. year. Any other questions at all? Okay, I guess I'm looking for a motion. I move to approve the resolution. I'll second. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was second. reading the contract. <laughs> I didn't know I was up. <laughs> <laughs> Motion's being seconded. Uh, 
Any other discussion? All in favor? Aye. aye. Any opposed? Chair votes aye. That is approved. Okay, number nine. Resolution number 45 23 24, August 21st, 2023. Resolution authorizing the appropriate city officials to execute an amendment to lease agreement between the City of Sheboygan, the Elwood HMA Environmental Park Association of Sheboygan County Incorporated, and the Sheboygan County YMCA. So I guess we got an interview back to you, Joe. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> um, I, I, I gave Liz a little um, <laughs> um, worried today because I was looking at this and I was not looking at it as an amendment, but it, it's truly an amendment. We've been doing this with um, um, with Camp Waikota YMCA since uh, 2015. Mm -hmm. It's been a great relationship. Um, there's been some increased uh, things that they've done during that time. Um, in 2021, uh, Chuck said, why don't we just, you know, why don't we just uh, make this lease agreement and then allow it to um, uh, occur, reoccur every, every year for like 25 years. So, well, the, the reason we're coming back to amend this is uh, the rate's going up from 10000 for the year to $10,500. Um, I think that's even in the... Um, um, MOU to be able to do that, but they wanted to change when the, the payment came in. So they wanted to change from June 30th, um, from June 15th to June 30th. It works better with the schools. It works better with Maywood. So that's really the, the reason for the amendment is to, to do that. Otherwise, basically name changes, dates, same thing. Okay. Great. I think it's good. Any other questions? For a motion? I move to approve the resolution. Second. This is made and seconded. Any other discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. <laughs> Any opposed? Chair votes aye. That is approved. Okay. Uh, next meeting date is September 12, 2023. Uh, motion to adjourn. I move to adjourn. Second. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's getting favor. out. <laughs> All in favor? Oh, aye. aye. Okay, we are adjourned. Thank you.